This is Gary Bennett, Tractor Whisper. This is episode three of the F450 Cummins swap. Uh, this we have a donor motor here, um, as well as we have our other engine that actually goes in the truck. But we wanted to show you how to time the uh, your Cummins and also check timing. This engine had multiple problems, as you see. It's number six piston. It was melted and nuked. Nuked. Uh, we got it out so we can rotate the motor fine. The motor, I think, is salvageable. Uh, cylinders definitely have to be bored. But we're gonna, right now, we're going to go through the process of putting a pointer on. We have the motor dial indicator. Number one pistons at top dead center. Everything lines up, looks good. And now we're gonna show you how to go through the timing process. All right, we're gonna put a couple of things here to help us out. One is a homemade pointer, and we're gonna put a degree wheel on our front crankshaft pulley. That's tight enough for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Let's see. All right, now we have a degree wheel. I'll put it on here and I'll show you the, the engine setting at top dead center right now. This is magnetic, so it's pretty easy. I know you guys are looking at it at an angle, but straight on that mark is right dead on the zero. And I'm gonna tighten it up right there. Set it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's clearly at zero. So right now, it's at zero at top dead center. Let me tweak it one more time. All right, I think I'm happy with that. It's at top dead center and I'm squarely in front of it. I know you guys are a little bit of an angle, but uh, it's, as you see, it's covering the red line. So, also the dial indicator up here, it's at zero, pistons at top dead center. All the timing mark lines up. Now Parker can actually show you the cam pin should plug directly in, right there. That's just already plugged in. Now it is, plugged yeah, it is. in. That's plugged in. You feel confident it's all the way in? I think so. Okay. Um, you can't rotate the motor with the cam pin in, but it's definitely in in that location. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pull the cam pin back out so we can rotate the motor. We're going to turn the motor counterclockwise, which is the opposite direction of top dead center. And this motor, the tag here on the side of the timing chain cover, Parker can show you that as well. That tag says that the motor's timed at 14 degrees before top dead center. Now, if everything works right, do you have the flag pin out, Parker? Do you have it right there? Have it loose so we can That's the top pull it out. Motor. This right is here. the pin, and actually, it would typically go in. There's the flag it, right there. Yeah. It would go in in this direction. That's the way it would run. But we're going to turn it around and put it in in this direction. So that's this will tell us if exactly where the motor's timed. So what we'll do, Parker, if you'll take the screwdriver and back the back the engine up go that way with it but should be counterclockwise that should be plenty that's 20 now if you'll turn it very very slow 
flag. And start looking for the flag. All right, everybody. This right here, this is where the, the, the flag cap come off of. And now I'm going to try. I know you can't see in this hole with me, but I'm going to try and put the flag in. You can see the slot. Put this flag in on the, on the flag. It should not so, go. So go ahead and turn it a little turn bit. Turn it very slightly. See it? I don't see anything yet. Well, let me look where our degree wheel is. Where's the degree wheel? About 10 degrees. You still don't see it? No. Oh, I'm starting to see it. Come a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Come on. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We're coming. All right, stop right there. Wonder. It's a majestic here. I got the flag now. Let's see. You see it. We've you clearly see it rotated. Now. We've rotated the motor. And that's in. Right there. That, that's got our pump. Uh, that side of pump it right at the cam pin. You can, at the top of the stroke, the number one cylinder right now. And you can tell it's in. You see, I just put this in there. See, it goes all the way back flush. That means it's all the way in. So I'm going to take this back off. I just You're going to put the cap on it? Well, I put the cap on just to confirm that it was all the way in. All right, so bring the camera around here. Show everybody what we've actually found on this motor. Now, keep in mind, this motor is a donor motor. And we don't know who all has worked on it, but we had lined this unit up. The motor, the motor rotates clockwise, and it's at about three degrees. The pointer's at three degrees for top dead center. Also, if you look at the dial indicator, you can see it's about just a little more one thousandths of an inch before this piston's at the top of the stroke. So before top dead center firing would give this uh, a longer time period for this piston to compress the air and fuel mixture as it's expanding. And pressure would peak between that 14 degrees, which is supposed to be. So it should have been way over here when that pin inserted into the pump. It should have been at 14, not three. So, um, this motor would have run there, but it would have run poorly and bad timing. And one of our things, anytime you take a motor down like this, you, you wonder what caused it to fail. Uh, this motor is 5.9, 12 valve, mechanical injection. So we realize that this pump is injecting at three degrees. The fuel uh, is dumping into the cylinder later than it should have. It should have been injected in there at 14 degrees before it got to the top dead center. But also we anticipated this motor having a bad injector in it. Um, but we checked them all this morning before we started the video. They're all perfect, but they all broke at about uh, 3300 PSI and it should break at 260 bar, which would be 3770 PSI. So the, they're definitely down, but flooded that cylinder with fuel is about the only thing that could cause this piston to actually melt, uh, for temperature to go up that high and melt the aluminum. The other five pistons look absolutely fine. This one looks awful, but it's basically kind of back thinking what happened to that piston. And at this point, we're not completely sure, but we are sure the motor was timed at three degrees before top dead center, which is awful. And we verified it by the dial indicator on the crankshaft stroke and also with this degree wheel. This degree wheel, uh, we purchased it from Power Driven Diesel. Uh, it's magnetic, it sticks right to the uh, your crankshaft pulley, which is cool. The thing about the crankshaft pulley, when you unbolt these four bolts, it comes off. So there's not a mark on that pulley anywhere because you can put it in in four different places. So with that being said, that's a little bit aggravating, but this pointer is what we will 
rely on. And when we set the, the pump up, when it's a, in permanent home of the um, 4559 that we're going to install, there's the part number for the part number for the degree wheels right there. Um, it's a cool part. Also, we'll be using this pretty soon. Also, we got this from Power Driven Diesel. That's the puller to pull this. This gear is tapered friction fit on the tapered shaft. So we'd pop that off and we'd actually rotate the motor back to 14 degrees with that pin in and time it, lock that pulley back down and that's how we would time the motor. We're gonna time our motor at 18 degrees before top dead center, not 14, just so we can make a little bit more power. Uh, also 18 degrees with it fuel going in there earlier, as the piston's rising, it will have, as the gas is expanding, it, it will create higher PSI in the cylinder and actually burn that fuel better, more efficiently, and make more power. Uh, when you dump, we'll also, uh, we're gonna increase our delivery valves and injector size too, but that's another video. But anyway, that's pretty much it on confirming timing of your motor, whether it be a donor motor or your the engine you're running. So there you go. Thank you.